how's it going? So today is my first official leg day that I'll document and be vlogging today. Super excited, we got a lot in store today, okay? It's gonna be a long video, longer than usual. We got quads, we got hamstrings, but I usually do a lot of volume when it comes to legs. That's why I put so much size on my thighs as well as hamstrings, quads. So what's gonna happen, we'll probably do squats first, as always, that's my main staple. The meat and potatoes, that's those, the main extra that I always love to do at first. We'll also do a barbell squats. Probably do some leg extensions that I like to do that right after. And believe it or not, you know, you don't see most guys doing this, but you, see, you start to see it now, is adopters going inside. Remember, a lot of people don't know this, some people do, but the most important is when you're going to squat down, you're using a lot of the adductor movement here, all right, and on your legs. So what you want to do is you want to strengthen that. If you want to get a better squat, work on your adductors, and that is an awesome exercise, a simple one where you don't have to do a lot of free weights to really, really strengthen your adductors, okay? So we're gonna do that. And then hamstrings. I like to keep it simple for hamstrings. I don't work much hamstrings, but we'll do some leg curls, a couple other exercises, and you'll see it in a bit, okay? So, Let's hold it. Hop over to this one. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go.
That felt really good. Good, good first working set. All right, so from, from this set onwards, we're gonna go one rep per set, mostly just power. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention, on each set, we're gonna do my favorite isometric hold, 25 seconds. So this is what happens when you squat 555 pounds. Legs are looking killer. I'm so happy with the results. It's looking amazing. Just incredible. I think anytime you lift after 500 pounds is there's just just your legs poof explode. So really happy. Looks awesome. We're getting there, we're getting there. So, I challenge you on your last set, or if you're just gonna do this as a full exercise, what I like to do is called the Tower of Terror. So, what exactly that is, is you start on your heaviest weight, and you do, you could either do one, three, or five reps on each, on each plate here, and you have to go through the whole stack, and then you're completed. Right up until the last, last pin, which here is, I guess, 10 pounds. So, what I'm gonna try to do for this, is I'm gonna try to do all of it with each plate, three reps. All right, so this is gonna burn, this be crazy. Here we go.
promise you, this is not a joke. This is so hard just doing this whole thing. But you're done within not even five minutes and you get the craziest, craziest quad pump as you can see. Okay, we're gonna do one more quad exercise and we're gonna move on to hamstrings. So this was a completely uh, last minute decision. I was actually gonna do like four sets as I usually do or five. I'm gonna do the Tower of Terror again on this, on the uh, adductor machine. Crazy, I'm just feeling the adrenaline today, so I might as well just keep going, push it out. So yeah, same thing here as the uh, leg extension. All the plates, again, you could choose, depending on your intensity level, one, three, or five reps, and just knock it out. All right, here we go.
so even just this supposedly warm-up weight is still very hard after doing heavy quads so I'm probably gonna, gonna knock those heaviest 100 on this already my hamstrings are feeling like they're about to cramp and give out already so all over again so we're gonna do one more hamstring exercise probably dumbbell RDLs as for this leg curl we're done last exercise dumbbell RDLs believe me when I say I'm feeling nauseous I'm not going heavy on these I actually really want to feel that nice control I don't do much RDLs but when I do I like to really really take my time and focus on it so we're gonna do that right now um, work with some 30s nice slow dumbbell RDLs here we go Focus 
really dialing in on letting that pulling with the hamstring as opposed to pulling with your lower back it does feel heavy, especially in the hamstrings. And after you've just finished a whole leg workout. So we do probably three more sets. That's the leg workout.